Now that President Obama has stated he wants congressional approval before any sort of military response against Syria, there's a question, a big question, many people are asking tonight. What if Congress says no? ABC's Chuck Sievertson tells us the White House is working hard to prevent that. One day after President Obama's surprise step back from attacking Syria. I will seek authorization for the use of force from the American people's representatives in Congress. Secretary of State John Kerry hit five Sunday talk shows defending the decision. This goes to the core of American credibility in foreign policy, and I believe the Congress of the United States will understand that and do the right thing. And on ABC's This Week, Secretary Kerry said there is new evidence that Syria used deadly sarin nerve gas in the attack last month that the U.S. says killed over 1,400 Syrian civilians. We have uh, signatures of sarin in their hair and blood samples. The White House has also begun making its case in briefings for lawmakers. Is this a reason to go to war? Uh, what is the objectives of going to war? Uh, what authorization are we actually giving our president? What will the president do if Congress balks? Will you forgo a strike if Congress disapproves? He didn't answer that question Saturday. Secretary Kerry said Mr. Obama can still order a strike without congressional permission. The President of the United States has the right to take this action, doesn't have to go to Congress. Lawmakers are weighing in. This is a clear failure of leadership, and if he feels so strongly about it, and if he doesn't want to take the action himself, then he should call us back into session tomorrow. I mean, we can't be waiting nine, ten days and allowing Syria to prepare for this. The president made the right decision. He rightfully recognized that in the long run, uh, he and the country and the world would be stronger if Congress was supportive of his activities. Congress is back in Washington September 9th. Chuck Sievertson, ABC News, New York. And stay with Eyewitness News and ABC News for coverage of the debate on Syria. We'll bring you the latest developments on the air and at 7 online.